Hey guys, so today I'm taking this for a ride. Um, about 50 miles. I was coming on my way back. This thing started knocking like hell. I was like, oh man. I didn't know if it was knocking or like something happened with the pin on one of the piston rings or something. It just had a really clicky sound to it. Um, I just richened the hell out of it and babied it on the way home. So I pulled the head. Looked at everything. It looked great. And I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. Um, until I looked at the bottom of the spark plug. And that's when I realized ugh, it melted. But the engine temperatures never exceeded 342 degrees. Which is below, you know, the average 350 you know, temp kind of area for two strokes. Well, I I just, I can't figure out what would cause the plug other than just cheap materials, maybe, for it to melt. I It, it almost seems like it warped and changed shape. So it was not an overheating issue, but it looked like it is the way that the plug melted. So... I got a little video of that here in a second of the one that I pulled. Uh, this is a number six NGK plug. I'm going to run that in it now. Um, I'm running the MZ65 clone pipe and a dio reed. Uh, I had to do the reed window in the piston when I put this together because I can't pull the rings after machining one later. I'd have to break it all in and stuff again. So, you know. I was going to do it with it without and then in, but whatever, you know. So, I did have the issue that a lot of people talk about with the plug melting. Uh, the thing is, is I'm keeping a temp gauge on this. So, I did not melt any, like, I didn't have an overheating issue. I'm running this 40 to 1 synthetic oil, uh, Lucas. You know, it's good oil in it, everything. Um, I've had no problems all the way until then. And then the plug melted. So, amazing. Not really sure to cause. Definitely was not an overheating issue, though. All right. All right. Let's see if we could get it to focus now. Oh yeah, see how it's cricket? So anyways, what we're going to do is cut this so you can get a better picture. I'm not sure why this plug melted. Uh, it makes no sense. Oh, here we go. So yeah, that plug melted inside. See how it's all cricket? Now this is... I don't know, it's like yingling or jingling or whatever the hell it is. But it's a Z4C plug. Alright, so I cut the plug. Um, let's see what we got here. So I'm having a really hard time focusing on stuff today. But anyways, the heat ring, if you can see that, is right in the middle. So we're not doing too bad here. The heat ring's right along the middle. It is wavy, which is kind of interesting. So, I'm not really sure what the hell's up with this. But it actually warped, if you can see that, to one side. So, it doesn't look melted or anything, but it did warp and change its shape. So, kind of interesting. Alright, so I have a theory to this. And I'm just curious what others think about it. Now, when I did the timing of this engine, the duration that the exhaust port is open is very low. <laughs> it is 100 in 68 degrees while it's open uh, normally it's like 180 to 210 maybe something like that 
So I'm starting to think that the fact that that's cut <clears throat> with such a small duration, it's leaving too much trap gas, which melts the plug, which could technically happen in a super high-end engine, but this is not. So that's my only theory as to why it may be happening. Uh, we're going to change all the ports in the durations and make them correct shortly um but that's my theory uh the port duration of that was 168 so it's very low uh the transfers were very low too so anyways we got a bunch of stuff to fix and play with but right now um Get about 7k RPM out of this thing. Runs about 340 degrees. 40 to 1. I'm running synthetic Lucas um, oil. Uh, dial read. PZ 20 carb. Uh, I got 102 main. Uh, I think it's a 58 pilot in this. So, oh, and the other thing too, this is the upgraded CDI and coil. That's a 12 volt, not a 6, and 12 volt CDI do it. And now I'm going to be running the NGK, uh, it's a number 6 in there. So, we're getting there. But anyways, it does run great. As soon as I changed the plug, the knock was gone. Uh, my only... Thing I could think of is the duration of the exhaust is so short it melted the plug up inside. So, not sure. Anyways, peace.